Let's talk about the respiratory and the circulatory system of the cockroach. The first to begin is the respiratory system. Now, respiration in the cockroach occurs through trachea. Trachea is present on the lateral side of the body and it opens into 10 pairs of spiracles numbered from S1 to S10. So, S1 to S10, uh, SP10 are the various spiracles which are present. The numbering has been given here. Now, these spiracles are guarded by the bristles or the hairs which keep away the dirt uh, within the body or within the, uh, the tubes of the spiracle. The trachea is divided further into the tracheoles and by the process of diffusion, oxygen from the air is taken and supplied to the various parts of the cockroach. Now tracheal tubes carry the oxygen from the air, supply it to the various parts of the body. Very little carbon dioxide is passed through the spiracles. Most of it goes through the cutaneous or the, uh, the cuticular openings, right? So that's another important thing that we need to understand. Coming on to the uh, circulatory system. Circulatory system is considered as an open circulatory system. That means blood flows throughout the cavity. So throughout the cavity, the blood flows and this consists of heart. Uh, then there is the chambers of the heart as you can see and uh, the aorta and finally, this is the aorta and finally there are uh, blood spaces which are known as sinuses. So here are the blood spaces, the openings which are called as sinuses. This heart in a case of uh, cockroach is known as neurogenic heart and this is enclosed in a peri, uh, pericardial sinus. So there is a pericardial sinus in which this whole heart gets enclosed. Now the elongated muscular tubules as you can see consist of 13 different uh, funnel shaped chambers. These are known as ostia. There are 13 such ostia or funnel shaped structures which are present and this allows the blood to flow from the pericardial sinus into the heart only and does not allow a reverse movement. So it only allows a movement towards the heart not the other way around. Now there are various visceral organs. For example, hemocele is bathed within the hemophil. Hemophil is a colorless uh, plasma which does have hemocytes which are present. Hemolymph do not have respiratory system or respiratory pigment and therefore Hemolymph has no role in respiration but it has an important role in the transfer of food material and the uh, transfer of metabolic waste materials. There is where the role of hemolymph is important. So those are some of the important things that we have covered in this lecture. Uh, if you have any questions you can raise those and definitely uh, more practice material and study material on the same is available in the links below. Do follow.